Major Cloud Sports, Gerald Albrin, also known as Coach A, over here at Lancaster High School in Lancaster, Texas with Demarcus Ayers. Demarcus Ayers is a young man that I met years ago. He would always dominate against us. So one day after a game, I went up to this young man and I told him I needed him to play for us. Since then, I met his father, we built a relationship, and uh, ever since then, we've always kept a bond and a relationship with each other throughout the years. You know, now he's a professional football player. He's a great story for a lot of young men who are wanting to fulfill their dreams of becoming a professional athlete from someone who worked hard from day one, and now he's getting to reap the benefits of what it is being a professional football player. Major Cloud Sports, Coach A, running routes with DeMarcus Ayers. They're trying to, you know, figure out what it all takes to be an NFL football player. Not only an NFL football player, but a professional athlete. DeMarcus Ayers here, born and raised Dallas, Texas, 24 years age. Uh, went to Lancaster High School, we're here right now. Went to the University of Houston, played three years, so from 2013 to 2015. Early inducted into the 2016 draft, seven round pick to the Steelers, Pittsburgh Steelers, Texas. You know, football is big here. Uh, it's special, you know, every night go out, Friday night lights, all the fans, all the people you grew up with, uh, family members come out and support you. Playing under those lights against um, the best football in, in, in the nation is, uh, it was unique. You know, uh, growing up here it was special. The people showed me love. The fans came out a lot. Um, had a great time, man, and uh, met some great people throughout this game, in this city. This game has taken me places I thought I would never go, and uh, it's just been amazing to me. Uh, tell me a little bit about, since you've been an NFL player, all the different and wonderful and interesting people that you've met in your tenure of being a professional athlete. I would say the most interesting people that I could just think off the top of my head would probably be Antonio Brown. I say him because me and him talk, you know, every every two or three days. Uh, so I would say probably three or four times a week. Me and him FaceTime, and you know, he always tell me, you know, make sure you're working out, make sure you're catching, make sure you're getting on the board, make sure you're watching film, make sure you're taking care of your body, make sure you're signing, like make sure you're doing all those things to help you to become the player I know you can be. I'm at the line, BB. Stack right over top of me like you are, facing with the camera. And I want to go outside, so I can't go straight there. I got to give him something inside to make him move off his spot. So I'm trying to give him a double, what we call a double up. Uh, Coach Harris, shout out to Coach Harris and Coach Richard Mann, taught me this move and Coach Berenger. So I'm coming off the line, I want to fake here, give him that quick move and stick back out and throw my hand. So it's, it's it got to be real, real, real this thing. So I might come off the line. And then I'm boom, boom. Same thing if I want to go inside, now we flip it. Got to be real quick at the line, real good with your hand. And I'm going to come off the line, and I'm going to give him a left, right. And then I'm back inside. Uh, you were a fast guy. You were very fast in college. And then when you got to the NFL, uh, tell me a little about the speed of the NFL. A lot of speed, when speed is really what's changing the game nowadays, you know, a lot of guys getting drafted off 4 3 4 2 speed uh, and talent. So, if you can come in, have a great work ethic, you control, and keep growing your speed, keep getting your speed faster, you know, you can always have a dominant career. And in terms of the, the game, you know, it's, a, it's an advantage on Sunday. So, uh, you got to come in and shape, you know, the speed, your conditioning has to be on point. Be willing to just keep growing because guys are not getting any younger. You know, got new guys coming in every year. So having speed is a, it's, it's a weapon in the NFL for sure. Because obviously in the NFL, your body is your money maker. And so talk a little bit about taking care of your body and the importance of taking care of your body and food and nutrition. Really the most important thing you have. I mean, your body is a temple. Um, you don't get paid unless your body, your body functions. So I think the, um, I had to learn myself, you know, if I'm going to be training hard as I want to be and be trying to become the best player that I can be, um, the, 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 most, the more time that I'm putting into training and exercise and daily routine, the amount of time that I'm up in a day, I have to also let my body recover and try to match that. So um, what you eat in terms of you know, and what you're drinking and putting inside your body in general on an everyday basis to give you energy to, to make it throughout a long work day. 
to, to be dominating workouts, to dominate on Sundays and, you know, keep you in a routine throughout the week to prepare yourself to, hey, I'm energized, okay, this is my sleeping pattern, this is when I need to be able to get her to go, this is when my mind don't need to think, this is when my chill time, so it's very important in terms of, you know, your daily routine and, you know, your success throughout a year, you know, a full season, you know, the next, you know, the, the off season, it's, uh, it's real important to take care of your body because, you know, can't do nothing without it. Foul Sports, Coach A here with Demarcus Ayers in the weight room. And speaking of being in the weight room, D, uh, you know, tell us a little bit about uh, strength, strength in sports and strength in professional sports. Uh, I think it's important, you know, I, I remember, you know, dating back to when we used to, you know, run the hills and run suicides out of practice and uh, shoot free throws when we was tired when I played on your basketball team. Um, I just think that it created a, a sense of me mental toughness, you know, you know, we didn't want to let each other down. We thought it was very important to be in the best shape to go out and perform every day or every game, every practice, whatever. Any times we was in between those, in, in between that court, um, running up and down, you know, we wanted to give it our best. And the only how we could be at our best is if we, you know, practice that over and over and over, all those mental reps, all those reps in the practice, you know, running those plays over and over, shooting free throws when you're tired, running suicides. I think all that stuff um, played a factor into one mental toughness, making us a toughness, make, making us a tougher team. Um, and then in tougher situations, you know, like you know, I remember, you know, certain guys would hit games winners, and, you know, we'd always refer back to practice. Oh, we did that in practice, or we hit a buzzer breed in practice, or we made that layup that was, you know, a guy that we didn't call a foul on in practice. So when we got in the game, a guy fouled us, you know, we make that layup with the foul. And, you know, things like that help us, you know, grow and mature as a team. And uh, I know myself, you know, made me better uh, conditioned. Demarcus Ayer is here, a uh, former player of Gerald Albritton, uh, known as Coach A. Um, this guy has been great to me, great mentor, great father figure, um, and even a great coach when I played for him. Um, has helped me out a lot in life in terms of, you know, when I ever, someone, never, ever needed someone to talk to and sit down, um, he was always a call away, always picked me up for practice, always looked out for me as a kid. Um, so without him, you know, I wouldn't have been able to grow as a young man have that father figure and uh, also just you know always bringing that competitive spirit always being him in his purest form genuine dude always been real with me um, and I'm very appreciative so if you're an athlete out there and you're looking for something real some genuine a brotherhood a family um, this is the guy you need to call up on uh, I'm not just saying that because I know him and not saying that because he's telling me to but I'm telling you that because I'm all about real I'm all about loyalty I'm all about family and if you're looking for that uh, support, you know, their realness. This you got. Okay, D man, it's been good seeing you, yep. man. I appreciate you yep. sitting down, taking the time to speak with Major Cloud Sports, man, yep. and giving us a lot of insight on what it takes to be a professional athlete. Yep. And we'll definitely be looking at for Demarcus Air success in the future. And if any of you guys are wanting to know more about how to become a successful professional athlete, please reach out to Major Cloud Sports, Coach A. Uh, and I would definitely love to talk to you and uh, show you the path of what you need to do to become a professional athlete.